Hey there, math students. I hope you're having a great day. Let's go ahead and learn a trick about squaring numbers that end in 5. So let's start with 5 squared. And hopefully you remember that 5 squared means 5 times 5, which is 25. Let's go to the next whole number that ends in 5. That's 15 and square it. And let me show you the trick right here. The first thing I do is just ignore this 5 here and I focus on the 1. I write the 1 over here. And what number comes after 1? Well, that's 2, right? The next whole number after 1 is 2. We multiply the 1 and the 2 together. 1 times 2 is 2. And then tack a 25 at the end of this. And there you go. 15 squared equals 225. Let's try another one. 25 squared. I'll ignore this 5. I'll underline the 2 and bring it over. And what whole number comes right after 2? That's 3. So we will multiply the 2 and the 3 together. And 2 times 3 is 6. And then tack a 25 on to the end. So 25 squared equals 625. Go ahead and try 75 squared. You can pause the video. Welcome back. Well, let's see if you got it right. I'll kind of drop off this 5. I'll bring over my 7. The number right after 7 is 8. Multiply the 7 and the 8 together and you get 56. And then tack a 25 on to the end of this. And hopefully that's what you got. So 75 squared equals 5,625. Let's look at one more that has three digits in it. Let's say we want to square, how about 105? So 105 squared. Same process. Just ignore this 5 and bring the 10 over here. And what number comes after 10? 11. Multiply the 10 and the 11 together, and that gives you 110. And then tack a 25 on to the end. In other words, 105 squared equals 11,025. Well, I hope you found this trick useful, and hopefully you can use it in a math class that you're taking right now or in a future math class. Have a great day. Thanks a lot for watching.